Well, congregation, our offering this week is for Camp Adonai. Uh, as you know, things didn't happen with Camp Adonai and many, many camps throughout the the uh, throughout Ontario and the world, probably this past summer. However, um, things are hopefully going to happen this summer. Regardless, they continue to need our prayers and support. And so we ask that you would uh, prayerfully consider what God may be calling you to give to the ministry of Camp Adonai. In terms of uh, congregational pastoral things, uh, the, the only thing I need to highlight, I believe, at this particular moment is that last week we talked about Chris being in the hospital. He is home now and is doing somewhat better, uh, but please be, uh, yeah, please continue to be in prayer for Chris and, uh, and for Heather and for their family and for Chris's uh, health. Uh, also, continue to be in prayer for Wayne, uh, who is, again, uh, his condition continues to improve, uh, as, uh, as, as far as I know. Um, and so, yeah, continue to pray for, uh, for him and for Sherry as well. Now, let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the ministries of Camp Adonai. Thank you so much for the many, many people who have been able to go to Camp Adonai uh, through, throughout many, many years of history and with different names. Uh, thank you for how you uh, brought people close to you through that ministry so often through so many years. Lord, we pray that you will uh, continue to bless them, continue to bless the board, and continue to bless uh, the, the, the folks who volunteer and work there every year. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will bless all the teens uh, who hopefully will be able to come uh, this summer. Lord, in the meantime, we pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be a pleasing aroma to you. Lord, we also ask that you would continue to be with Chris uh, and Heather. Lord, please continue uh, again to work with doctors and with Chris's own body. Lord, please bring healing to him. Please also be with him as he continues to try to do schoolwork and be a husband and be a father and uh, do all that he does. Lord, please guide him and strengthen him in that as well. Father, we pray that you will continue to be with Ray Wayne in particular and, uh, and his health concerns. We thank you that uh, the pregnazone seems to be working for him and he seems to be getting better. Uh, Lord, we ask that you will uh, continue to strengthen him and Sherry and the rest of the family as well. Father, there are many in our congregation who struggle with various health concerns and so, Lord, we lay them all before you, O oh God. Lord, you know their names, and we know their names, O oh God. And we, we, just, we just take a moment to lift them up before you. Lord, we also ask that you would be with all those who mourn, who are grieving, O oh God. We pray that you will be with all of those who are struggling with mental health, uh, concerns who are whether it is circumstantially based based in their circumstances or whether it is uh, a chronic uh, condition that they are dealing with Lord God we pray that you will help them in their hearts and minds oh God Father, we pray, too, that you will be not only with all of those who are struggling with mental and physical health in our congregation, but we ask, O oh God, that you would be with this whole world, O oh God. We know so many people are struggling with various diseases and ailments, O oh God, in this world. And, and we see how, uh, you know, there are all kinds of implications of you know, COVID-19, for example, oh God, where, where it's not just family members or, or people who actually get COVID-19 who are suffering, but there, there are surgeries that are delayed and there are uh, 
people who are struggling with loneliness and isolation, and there are uh, greater amounts of abuse happening, and there's greater drug and alcohol use, oh God, and, and so many things come out of this one situation. And so, Lord, we pray for all of those who are suffering even the remotest of effects from COVID-19, those things that are not directly uh, COVID-19, but all the fallout from it. Lord, we pray too that you will be with uh, this country and with our premier and uh, our prime minister and all our government leaders. Lord, we pray that you will guide them and draw them closer to you. We pray that you will be with the students, Lord. We think of the high school students who are starting on their new semester and uh, the university and college students who are well into their second semester. Lord, we think of our elementary school students who are, uh, for the most part, uh, either back at school or heading back to school very soon, oh God, if they're not already there. Lord, we pray that you will guide them and their teachers as well. We know that this is a pretty stressful time for a lot of teachers too. And Father, we pray. I myself am so thankful for our church community here in Athens, both uh, Athens Christian Reformed Church, but, but also the churches in town, all of the churches in town, and, and the collegiality that there is between the pastors and the churches. Lord, I am so grateful for that. But I know also that there are lots of pastors throughout North America, throughout the world, uh, in our denomination and outside of our denomination, who are really really struggling during these times. They're struggling with conflicts within their congregations, and they're struggling with political conflicts, and they're struggling with conflicts over COVID-19, and they're struggling with what's the right thing to do. And, and, and Lord, I know that there are lots of pastors who are feeling very close to burnout. And so, Lord, we lift them up too. Thank you, O oh God, for this, for this community that feels to me so safe and so good. Lord, we pray for all of those who are experiencing difficult times in their church communities, whatever the reasons may be. Father, we pray too that as we look into the Gospel of Mark again today, that you will guide us, that you will open our hearts and minds, and that we will hear what you would have us hear. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.